Good morning and welcome to worship. Good morning, Father. Special welcome to those of you joining us on Facebook Live, or those who will be watching this later on YouTube. As we gather this morning, may the Spirit of the Lord walk within us. As we gather, may we glorify the Lord. And as our hearts begin to worship, may we be blessed because we can. If you are able, I invite you to stand. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, blessed be His kingdom, kingdom now and forever. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us humble ourselves and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins so that we may obtain forgiveness by His infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Spirit, come fill us to overflowing. Hear our cry, Holy Spirit, come. Spirit, show us your power. Be our teacher, Holy Spirit. Lead us into all truth. Come. Spirit, be our healer. Heal us, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit. Heal us and make us whole. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God of peace, you have told us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us in prayer to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns. One God forever and ever. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of Scripture. A reading from the second book of Kings. In those days, Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die, you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, Remember now, O Lord, I implore you, how I have walked before you in faithfulness with the whole heart and have done what is good in your sight. Hezekiah wept bitterly. Before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him. Turn back and say to Hezekiah, Prince of my people, Thus says the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears. Indeed, I will heal you. On the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will recite together the words of Psalm 103 in unison. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. Who 
redeemed your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord walks being patient, justice for all who are oppressed. He made God his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to find God abounding in his steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins. No repair us to I to our decrees. For as the, the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass, they flourish like a flower in the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O ye his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord on his cause, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord on his works in all pleasures of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. If you are able, please stand for the gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the ship gate, there was a pool, called in Hebrew, Beth Zapha, which has five potholes. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I'm working, I'm making my way someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Shut up, take your mat and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now, that day was a supper. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. You may be seated. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. As you probably can tell, the readings today are not uh, tied to a particular saint as we've been doing most Wednesdays, but these are readings specific to a healing service. And the only reason we have healing services is because of these stories and many others from experience. 
the scripture stories from the Old Testament, the testimonies of the psalmists, and the scripture stories from the New Testament. There is a, a, a full body of testimony of the fact that this God we believe in is indeed our healer. That of the many things he does, healing is one of them. And that's why we have healing services, because we believe that that same God is still alive today and is able to, to heal us. Of course, the big challenge, question is always, why don't we always get healed? There are many people who have prayed Hezekiah's prayer and it didn't happen. And one of the best answers I ever got is from a book called, by the man, a man called Francis McNutt. Francis McNutt was a Catholic priest uh, who became a lay person and started a healing ministry in Jacksonville. He's perhaps one of the best experts on the subject of healing and his answer to the question why don't everyone get healed and he said we don't know and that is the best answer we don't know why everyone doesn't get healed but we know that God does indeed heal people and that's why we keep coming 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 in a way, we are like the man in the gospel story who had been coming, 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 and waiting, but one day something happened. And indeed, that's the testimony of many who received miraculous healing uh, in similar ways like this. It rarely happens like in the situation of Hezekiah when it's like you pray one prayer and it's answered instantly you, you notice that the, the, the prophet Isaiah come, receives a message uh, to go tell uh, King Hezekiah that actually your time is up put things in order <laughs> and Hezekiah implores the Lord. He says, Lord, I've been faithful. He negotiates. We, we, we call that negotiation. And he negotiates with God. He says, God, I've been good. I have walked before you in faithfulness with a whole heart and have done what is good in your sight. Hezekiah wept bitterly. I don't know why he wept bitterly. We are not told whether he had like small children or things. He, he hoped to finish an unfinished business. And then we are told that before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him. He says, turn back and said to Hezekiah, Prince of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Indeed, I will heal you. On the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord. It's a beautiful story. But it's actually, it's not a very unique story. Where people have received the miraculous healings. Some have been healed without even praying. People who just say, I don't know. God, if you are there, heal me. And then it happens. Or somebody shows up and says, may I pray with you? And they, in their mind, they don't even have faith. They say, okay. And then they are surprised with a miraculous healing. So we do not know what the dynamics, the full dynamics of what happens. One, some are healed instantly, others are not. 
the man in the gospel story had been sick for 38 years and he had tried I imagine that before he came to camp at the pool he had tried everything else the doctors the whatever and nothing had worked then he came at this pool where the, it was known the myth or the, the, the story was when the water turns and somebody jumps it into it they get healed and this poor man whenever it turned he didn't have anybody to help him get into the pool but the good thing about this man he didn't give up sometimes people give up by the rap to this man uh, because of his uh, response Jesus says do you want to get well he says no one whenever I, I don't have anyone to help me some people say why doesn't he simply say yes but I think I highly respect him for staying there hoping beyond hope probably that one day something will happen Maybe somebody will help him get into it. And uh, as the scripture tells us, God is able to do, uh, to do amazingly more than we ask or even imagine. What he had asked and hoped for was somebody to put him in the pool. Now something even more wonderful happened. Jesus simply said, stand up. Get your mouth, go home. And the man was like, wow. I can't believe this. So the lesson for us perhaps is, first of all, to keep trusting, to keep hoping, to keep praying. And if it doesn't happen, keep trying. Don't give up, keep hoping and trusting the Lord until it happens or until the Lord calls us home. That's the attitude. The testimony again of the psalmist here in Psalm 103 he says, Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and do not forget all his benefits. And that is something that really a principle that uh, is important, especially for people who are disappointed, who have, whose prayers have not been answered. One of the important things is to remember all the things God has done. It's a major principle. Do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity and who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. So this God has done wonderful things for us. Yes, there are a few things here and here, there that we are still waiting and hoping and longing but let's never forget. That's why St. Paul writing to the Ephesians, to the Philippians, he says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, will thanksgiving present your request to God. Prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for all the benefits of our lives, for all the blessings of our lives, for all the good things you've done. Yes, Lord, we come even this morning with needs, with the requests. for ourselves and for those we care about. 
there are a lot of things we long for, we hope for. But this morning we thank you for all the things that have been good, even as we pray for these other things also. So we, we thank you for your goodness and kindness to us. We just thank you for the stories we just read, for answering Hezekiah's prayer instantly, Lord. How we pray that you hear us like Hezekiah and they answer us instantly. We thank you for the prayer of the man who had been sick 38 years but did not give up and waited and waited and waited until his moment. How I pray that for those of us who have been waiting and longing that we will not give up. That you give us the grace to continue hoping and waiting for our moment. More so, Lord, we pray that this may be the moment. May this day be the day for all those who have been longing and for all of us who have been waiting for breakthroughs, Lord, for restoration, for healing, for deliverance, Lord, come to us quickly, O Lord. We thank you for your goodness, for your steadfast love and mercy. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before God, all those for whom we offer our prayers this morning. Lord, we bring before you all those who have asked for our prayers, remembering especially, and yes, giving thanks for the progress many of these have experienced. We also will bring before you, Lord, our brother Ivan. Sister Patsy, Emily, Shannon, Clay, Marge, Montana, and John, Lisa, Scar, Marley, Ashley, Stacy, Amanda, David, Lee, Jen, Brandy, Liz, Beverly, Sharon, Vicky, Terry, Terry. My and Will, John, Marty, Anna, Dory, Debbie, Bishop Michael, Deborah, Veneranda, Mary Francis, Mary Kay, Haley, Agatha, Kay, Alice, Bishop Norman, Thomas, Ryan, Mark, Daryl, Nicole Charlie, Ray, Tiffany, Megan, Dad, Lisa, Emma, Barbara, Sophia, David, Rob, Janet, John, Mandy, Terry, Mary, Maria, Maria, Colin, Bag, Yael, Pascal, Elin, Mary Ellen, Sheldon, Ray, Jeffrey, Kenan, Brandy, all those who are bereaved, the staff and children at our school and at the South Power Master Ministry, and many, many, many others. Lord. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God, the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God, the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We, we praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We, we praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, 
grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear yes, us, O Lord, Lord God. God. Heal and restore all those devastated by war and violence, especially those in Israel and the Palestinian territories, Ukraine, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan, Haiti, and other areas where there is power. Hear yes, us, O Lord, Lord God. God. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear yes, us, O Lord God. God. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear, Hear us, O Lord, Lord God. God. Mend broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear yes, us, O Lord. Lord. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear yes, us, O Lord. Lord. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the will of mind. And, and in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us, us and make us whole. Almighty God, giver of life and health, send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them, that our weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. This point I invite you to make a moment of silence to speak to the Lord. As he has promised, he's right here with us. And he is saying, what can I do for you? This is an opportunity for us to speak to him directly. God, we thank you, for you know each one of us, and you know the longings in our hearts, Lord. You know the brokenness that we represent even now, this morning. You know the people that you care deeply about, who are hurting. Lord, we pray. But as the answer to the cards prayer, you will answer our prayer. But as you responded beyond his imagination, the man who had waited 38 years, God, that you will speak a word of healing to those who, long, who have longed for this moment, for their moment, for many years. Grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit. 
drive away all sickness of body and spirit, to heal and restore you to wholeness and strength, and to grant you victory. If you are never to continue loving and serving you for the days of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Where I lay my hands upon you, and on behalf of your wife, Jane, and daughter, Marianne, and I like you with holy heart. Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ, sustain you in this prayer, to grant you the inward anointing of the Holy Spirit, to drive away all sickness of body and spirit, to heal and restore you to wholeness and strength, and to grant you victory, which you enable you to continue loving and serving you all the days of your lives. In Jesus' name. Now may the Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven and on earth and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make him know that the only end under heaven, even for health and salvation, is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. You may be seated. Walk in love as Christ loved us and offered himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, to your goodness of this great offer that may become a spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, to your goodness we have this one offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that may become a spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. This holy Eucharist and thanksgiving to God for his goodness and mercy, but more so intercession on behalf of those who are struggling for a yearning for better health, that God in his goodness may come quickly to them. The Lord be with you. And also we with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and it praise. Is, it is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. For you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you. Joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who we'll forever sing this hymn, proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power, power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. The night was handed over suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to thee, O God, he brought it and gave it to his disciples and said, Hey, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we we'll offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit before your people, the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in you. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are going to pray. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them and remember that Christ died for you. Feed them in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Blood of Christ, the cup of
seven, let us pray together. Precious Father, Father, we give, we give you praise, praise and thanks for this Holy Communion, for the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption, and we pray that it may bring us to forgiveness of our sins, strengthen our weakness, and everlasting salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may God the Father bless you, God the Son hear you, God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia.